Man, I wish I could take this pizza anywhere. Wait, I got an invention for that. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. As they say, what comes around goes around, and fanny packs have definitely come back around. This is what everyone used to think a fanny pack was. And now this is what fanny packs are. They went from tourist dad bag to high fashion accessory. So it's the perfect time for me to make an unnecessary fanny pack. And what does that look like, you ask? A pizza fanny pack. So let's kick things off. So my game plan for this project is that I'm gonna sew all of the pieces together to make the fanny pack. It's going to have a tough canvas back and then a transparent front so that you can put the pizza in and everyone knows that you're, you know, rocking your favorite slices. And before we get started, go comment down below what your favorite type of pizza is. I'm gonna out myself right now. I love Hawaiian pizza. I'm sorry. And you know, I sort of uh, got the Hawaiian vibe going today. Okay, focus. So that's what the pouch is gonna look like. So then I'm gonna have your typical strap, you know, that you would see on a fanny pack, and then a buckle that connects the two so it's adjustable. If you wanna wear it across your chest, around your hips, so that you can get your pizza snack on whenever you want. So the first order of business is to head to the fabric store. So let's go do that. So here is what we picked up at the store. And the first thing is the buckle. I picked this one out that has a reflector because you can never be too safe when you're consuming pizza. And for the buckle strap, I got this webbing. You know, I thought it looked pretty cute. Added a little bit of high fashion flair to it. Cause you know, I think we could hit the runway with this thing. And then I picked up this fabric. It might be a little, but basically it has Sort of this black heather. I thought a slice of pizza might stand out kind of well against this. And lastly, I got the plastic fabric that is going to be the top portion of the fanny pack so that you can see the slices of pizza while you're wearing it. So one idea that I wanna test out is I wanna 3D print a slice of pizza, and then I'm gonna put it underneath the plastic fabric and take a heat gun to it and see if I can create sort of a formed pocket that the slice of pizza will be able to sit in. Pizza pocket. But I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure how moldable that plastic fabric is or how well it'll really work in general, but we're gonna give it a try. So the next order of business Let's hit the computer. Now we're gonna hop into Fusion 360 and 3D print a slice of pizza. Basically, we're just gonna go ahead and make a triangle shape. And I wanna raise up the crust a little bit more than the rest. It looks like a classic slice of pizza. So then all we have to do is go ahead and round over the edges and make it unnecessarily gorgeous. So to save some time, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this off the screen. We've got our own slice of 3D printed pizza. So let's grab the heat gun and see how well the fabric does with it. I went and cut out a test piece of the plastic fabric. I'm gonna put the slice of pizza under it and then throw the heat gun on top of it to see if it'll form around the pizza shape. Please work. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, I've molded it to the slice of pizza and I do not have high hopes of this. It did nothing. Oh man, it just looks wrinkly. Well, so much for that idea. I guess I could still use this for making the pattern. So not all hope is lost. I think. All right, so now that we got that disaster out of the way, we need to think about the actual design and look of the fanny pack itself. So I'm thinking that I keep showing the fanny pack like this because that's how all the cool kids wear it. So then the strap is gonna connect here and here, and I think the two slices of pizza are gonna be all one big piece of fabric, which we have right here. Let me sketch that out. Okay. 
and you cannot see that whatsoever. There it is. Kind of looks like maybe some 80s sunglasses or something. High fashion. So maybe I will go ahead and make this a little bit more to spec and then we can trace it out on the fabric before we cut it out. Stop the video. I am a little bit upset at all of you that we've made it this far and not one person reminded me to order a pizza. So let's do that. Hi, can I place an order for delivery? Yep, it's $1.91. I ain't telling you that. Yeah, I get one small pepperoni pizza. Yep, that'll do it. And the pizza's been ordered. So I just sketched this out on my computer quick and printed it out, and then I taped it all together. So I'll be able to use this to trace out the design on the fabric. So I'm gonna cut two different ones and sew them back to back. So the pattern shows up on both sides. So let's trace that out and cut the fabric so we can sew it. So now that we have the two pieces traced out, let's cut, 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 cut them up. So I've got the two pieces of fabric all pinned up, so let's hit the sewing machine. God damn. So I'm just about done sewing the two pieces together and I don't wanna quite finish all the way because I need a space where I can flip it inside out. Let's turn it around. So from here, it's time to move on to the plastic. And done with the sewing machine for now. Order our pizza? Yeah, why? Because it's here. I'll just, yeah. Thank you. The pizza has arrived. Ugh. All right, so I think we're gonna pretty much just do the same thing on tracing this out, and then we'll have the plastic that will go on top. And one thing that I realized I didn't mention before is that I'm gonna use magnets. Uh. Magnets along the top of the fanny pack and that's what you're gonna use to open and close it to put your pizza in. Let's trace this bad boy out. So I'm gonna go a little bit bigger than what we want and then I will cut it more down to size. So while I cut this out, I'll talk over my game plan of how I'm gonna connect the plastic to the fanny pack. And I think that I'm either going to super glue or hot glue it, because I don't wanna start with the sewing machine and have the plastic either rip or something like that as I get going and mess it all up. So I think that should be a good game plan. And just like that, we've got the plastic. All right, so I got the plastic all lined up and cut for the fanny pack itself. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and super glue the edges down and that should be pretty good. I'm well stocked up. So I really don't like lying to you guys. I just have no idea what I'm doing half the time and that didn't work. So we're bringing in the heavy guns. The hot glue gun worked so well that I think I'm just gonna hot glue this onto here as well. And I think that should be good enough. Let's do that super, super quick. And there we go. Look at how beautiful that is. We are almost pizza party ready. So now we need to put on the buckle, if I know where I put it. I got it. I got it. We've got a buckle. That means I can put it on. And we are on. Damn. Now let's do it like the cool kids. How do they do this? Do I do it backwards and turn it around? Jesus. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw a few magnets in there. Would you just look at this? <laughs> it's time for a pizza party. No big deal. So I went and put magnets in. I got one on the back and then one on the inside of the transparent fabric. And so it snaps together to, you know, keep your pizza nice and safe. I feel like I need to have like a runway show. Watch out, Paris. I'm coming for you. Let's try it the other way. 
Who needs a slice of pizza? Uh, I do. So I think that just about wraps it up for today. And you know the drill. Go check out the official product photos over on Instagram. And this unnecessary invention gets 10 Papa John Shatners out of 10. Another completely unnecessary invention brought into the world. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And smash the subscribe button. I am gonna go eat that entire pizza right now. See ya.